Hi. So a lot of people contact me um, and they are at their wit's end with their food intake. They can't stop binge eating. They are um, feeling the physical consequences and they've no energy and it's taking over their life and they just want to stop. And then they, I get them on a food plan and a few weeks later um, they're at a party and all the memory of where food had taken them seems to vanish when they see other people enjoying cakes or, you know, um, fizzy drinks or beers or whatever they're having. And they have this real fear, God, I'm really missing out. And, um, and forgetting the pain of where food brought them. So, and I can totally relate to this because that was the case for me for quite a long time. I spent about a decade trying to prove to myself that I was different to the way I was, that I could have a little bit and stop at that. But the reality was that when I joined in with the cake or with the treats, whatever was going, you know, Christmas cake, birthday cake, you know, on holidays, the all you can eat buffet, I would um, maybe have a moderate amount there and then. But when I was off on my own after the occasion, a craving would kick in and I would find myself not being able to um, resist the temptation to eat more and more and more. Um, so that special occasion triggered off yet another um, binge cycle. And it takes what it takes to get to a place where we're willing to accept that um, we react differently, that some of us react differently to food than other people usually sugar and flour that sort of food but um and i'm always speaking from the extreme end of it because that's my background uh, you know i was i suppose quite extreme in my binging not everyone is has to go to the same lengths i go to and um will i will i always be like this well in the last 13 years or in the last few years say i've been doing this food plan or off sugar now avoiding sugar for about 13 years and la but about three years ago, I started just seeing what would happen because I felt so normal. What would happen if I had sugar? And straight away, those old cravings came back and it was so deeply unpleasant. I suddenly started seeing foods that I hadn't, or foods started triggering me in ways they hadn't triggered me in years. And I started getting that sort of urge to go and get foods that I didn't even want to be eating just to satisfy that craving within me. So just eating sugar did that to me. And I'm not suggesting this is the, this is the case for everybody, but this is the way it is for me. So I knew that if I didn't have sugar for about 48 hours, those cravings would pass, and they did. And I chose not to go back there again. I don't want to live in that place of, of um, want and craving and being a slave to food. But it takes what it takes to accept that in ourselves. It took me time to accept that this was the truth for me, that once I start eating certain foods, they trigger a craving for more. And if that now, if there's a special occasion or um, you know, people are having a party for whatever reason, I can go have a cup of tea, join in on the crack, but not need to, not, not, um, not believe the idea or the story that I'll have better fun if I have some cake or that I enjoy it more if I have some cake because the reality is when I have that cake it leads to what I just described um, and my experience is that people will do whatever they have to do to prove that this isn't the case they'll they'll you know even though you know that experiment mightn't have worked a million times this time it's different this time I feel so good that I'll be able to enjoy a little bit and then that can be the beginning of the end. Um, well, when I say the end, the beginning of a slippery slope back into, and it mightn't happen that day. You might be at the party and you might just enjoy one slice of cake and and think, okay, I'm, I'm okay now, I'll leave it at that. But that might trigger a craving in two or three days time and the binge cycle kicks in again. So um, we tell ourselves lots of stories that will derail us you know um you know um what will they think about me if i don't accept 
the homemade cake they made or what they think about me if I don't join in the fun or they'll think I'm really crazy now that I'm not having any sugar, you know. But they, if we live our lives by these stories, we'll constantly be doing things to please other people and never find freedom ourselves. So um, that fear of missing out is very real for a lot of people. And um, it it take if, if you are in that space, I'm not suggesting that you need to just... Um, um, not have cake try it see what happens when you do become conscious or more conscious of what happens when you eat certain foods and if you really do struggle with a sugar addiction or food addiction at, at a certain point you will come to realize that um there's greater freedom to be had by not joining in at the cake on, on the cake at that special occasion and s sticking to the plan or sticking or remaining free of sugar. So that's this week's video. Take care.